Yo, what is going on guys? So today, um, I've got a little bit of a different video. Uh, yesterday you saw that, was it yesterday? I can't remember, I'm losing track of days of the quarantine. Basically, I just wanted to like make a Mortal Kombat tier list for my favorite games and, and basically share it with you guys. Um, and maybe in the comment section, you could tell me what your favorite Mortal Kombat games are, where you would rank them. So just before I start this video, I am gonna say this might be a bit controversial for certain people. Um, now I started, the first Mortal Kombat game I ever played was Mortal Kombat 2 because I was born in 1992 so the first one would have been, I would have been a bit too young um, but my parents, uh, <laughs> they, they weren't keeping an eye on me and I got my hands on Mortal Kombat 2 and um, yeah, so I, that's why I started but this tier list isn't going to be based on how I felt as a child it's going to be based on how I feel about the games now as an adult because um, I'm going on 28 uh, years old soon so this is going to be based on how I feel about Mortal Kombat currently I'm removing nostalgia from this prior to making this tier list I've played all the Mortal Kombat games on here um, I previously I said I didn't on MKX I, I managed to borrow a copy um, I wanted to make a fair tier list so we're gonna start with my least favorite <laughs> now this is this is gonna upset people um, and the, the other thing is is that this is only on the numerical Mortal Kombat games, so MK1 to MK11, and you can probably see MK vs DC there. MK vs DC is actually in the canonical timeline, uh, and I don't know why. Um, they said that it's MK8, it's technically MK8, because Armageddon was a uh, 7, and then we got MK2009 after MK vs DC, so from what I've heard from NRS or Midway at the time is um, MK vs DC is officially counter it as a numerical uh, Mortal Kombat game but anyway I'm gonna start with my least favorite Mortal Kombat game <laughs> uh, like I said people are not gonna like this now this has taken everything into account gameplay and features just how I felt about them in more recent times so the first one I'm gonna put on here is the original Mortal Kombat game <laughs> and I know some of you right now you're clicking off the video before you do, let me just explain myself. I appreciate that game a lot. Obviously, it changed the landscape of fighting games forever. Um, it's a pivotal moment in fighting games. That doesn't mean that it's better than the other ones. I think uh, the mistake a lot of people make um, when they're talking about old games that they grew up on is they don't want to disrespect them in the sense that they'll, they'll say that, oh, the original's better. For, I'll give you another example. I've watched Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. I haven't watched Boruto yet. No spoilers, please. And um, I personally prefer Naruto Shippuden. That's just my personal opinion. I love the first series, don't get me wrong, but I prefer Naruto Shippuden. But I'm sure you guys know people out there, they sort of bandwagon. They always go for the original. Um, and I, I, you know, just playing this game as an adult, it, it's not that it hasn't, it hasn't stood the test of time for me. Um, I got about five minutes in and I was like, this is this is like this is old like it's not it doesn't belong in this time um, so that's why I've put it in in the D rank um, now I know as I said I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with that and that's fine um, but it's my least favorite Mortal Kombat game but it's obviously probably the most important one so let's just try to distinguish those two things the second one I'm gonna put in there you probably guessed is Mortal Kombat 2 <laughs> Um, I should probably actually move these around because um, I'm going to put these in order. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2, again, it is better than the original, um, but it's just, it's not stood the test of time for me. It's the music, the, the music in these two games is incredible. So if I was making this based on a tier list, they'd be right up there. But as a whole package, this, I have to put it there. I have to put it there and you can, you can probably catch, get the gist of where I'm going with this. The next game um, I'm going to put in there is... <laughs> I know some of you are watching this guy. what the hell is this guy doing? I'm sorry, This is these are my these are my honest thoughts on it. Um, now I prefer Mortal Kombat 3 to those two. I think it's actually much better than both of them. As a matter of fact, that's wrong. Let me put it up here. I do like Mortal Kombat 3. I could actually sit down and play Mortal Kombat 3. Um, I don't... It's not, it's not that, sorry, let me rephrase it. I don't not like Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. It's just that I feel like time has moved on um, and it's left them in the past. They're, they're the kind of games that I can't revisit. 
Um, um, it's the same thing for the original Street Fighter that came out in the 80s. I would never sit there and play it. I appreciate it because it changed the landscape of fighting games as well. I mean, it's the granddaddy of them, but if I had to make a tier list, obviously it's going to go right at the bottom. So it's no disrespect to the games, it's just, yeah, they're just, you know, it's there. There's not really much there for me. And then I'm going to put Mortal Kombat 4. Um, I actually I actually like Mortal Kombat 4 because it's so ridiculous. I don't know if you guys ever remember the, the, the uh, endings on, on Mortal Kombat 4. They're absolutely some of the most hilarious things I've ever seen in my life. Um, the gameplay is funny, the fatalities are funny, the game is just a good laugh. It's, I find it hilarious, to be honest with you. Like, really, really funny. Um, so, I'm going to put it there. Um, that's going to be the end of, of what's in the C bracket. So, again, the original four Mortal Kombat games, I do like them. I'm not saying that they're bad games. It's just that I feel like time has moved on and I've moved with the times as well. I don't always like the originals to things. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to be putting in the B bracket is Mortal Kombat 11. Mortal Kombat 11 is not a terrible game. It's not a terrible game, it's just not great. And um, the reason that, I mean, I've shown it a lot on this channel and, and I feel like for good reason. However, it's obviously better than the older ones. I mean, you, would, you wouldn't really catch most people sitting there playing the original Mortal Kombat over 11. Um, it's got a good, it works well online, it does look nice, it's got a decent roster. It's just a shame what's, that the gameplay is very frustrating. Um, but, I mean, the older ones are frustrating as well. But they're just, they're so wacky and so old that you kind of just, it's half expected, you know. You kind of expect that stuff from older fighting games. You don't really expect it from newer ones. Um, but MK11 has a decent story mode. Like I said, it's got decent features. Um, it's just a bit, meh, you know. It's it's not a, it's not a horrible game. I probably won't sell it. I'm gonna wait to see what season two brings us. But it's not an amazing game, so that's why I'm gonna put it there. Next up is probably controversial. You see where the mouse is. Um, you probably know where I'm going with this, but it's gonna be MK9 is gonna go in front of MK11. Um, I do like MK9. I do like it. I think it's better than MK11. Um, uh, as a whole package, I, I prefer the story mode um, and some of the other features in it, like Tag Team. I thought Tag Team was a fantastic feature. I don't know why they don't bring it back. As much as um, I, I like, I've shit on MK9 as well because of how broken it is. It's insanely broken, but again, it's so wacky and it's so not trying to take itself seriously that, or well, at least that's what I think when I play it. It's, it's so over the top stupid that you actually just laugh at it. Like when you get caught in Cyrax and his death combos basically or um, Kung or Liu Kang's pressure or Kung Lao's pressure or Sonya's but you just sit there and you laugh it's so ridiculous that you can't not laugh at it so that's why I've put my MK9 there I put it, I put it higher because I also prefer uh, the story mode on MK9 to MK11's um, the actual story the what, what the story they're telling and and the pace of it and the length of it I prefer it to MK11's obviously MK11 has some really cool fights really cool set pieces very good voice acting so, but yeah, MK9 I feel like is is a is a more enjoyable game than MK11. Okay, next up we have MK versus DC. I actually enjoyed this game a lot. Again, it's so stupid and so over the top and so wacky that you can't not enjoy. It. Even the weird mini game thing is so silly that like you just can't not laugh at it. And I feel like this was back at a time when MK wasn't taking itself completely seriously. Like now it's all esports and stuff and it's much more frustrating when you're trying to win for a prize and you're having to deal with bullshit. But back then, you know, fighting games at their roots, you know, when they were at their roots, I feel like that game came out around that time just before the whole esports and tournament thing started really taking over. And uh, I thought it was funny. I also, I also really like the story mode. Dark Khan is so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid, but um, I think there was a comic series that came with it, or there was something, but it, this game was cool. I enjoyed it. I had a good time with it. So for that reason, it's going to sit at the very top of the B bracket. So now we're going to move into the A bracket. The first game that I am going to put in the A bracket is Mortal Kombat. Armageddon. 
more common Armageddon uh, was for me. It was like it was the it was the it was the closing of an era. Obviously, like with the story mode and all the combatants finally being in one place, a giant roster, absolutely insane roster. Um, everything is it was a massive culmination of all the years of Mortal Kombat and it was fun and it had the character customization mode which was very very cool um, it had a it had a decent story mode it had a decent it wasn't as good as Deception or Deadly Alliance well, actually it's better than Deadly Alliance because I think that was just a training mode thing Deceptions blew it out of the water but Armageddon was good it was good fun I really enjoyed it um, I think that the 3D Mortal Kombat's are really really good um, and it's it's a shame that we don't really we haven't gone back there. As I said in one of my previous videos, I love the 3D Mortal Kombat games. I think they're so cool. But um, Armageddon, yeah, I felt I felt like it was really good. I was really happy that MK9 continued Armageddon's story. It wasn't just a hard reboot; it was a soft reboot. So they continued the story, and then they went back in time. So I was like, okay, that's cool. I mean, you've killed everyone, so. It makes sense that you do that and, and you respected the storyline. The years of, of building a story to that final point wasn't just thrown in the bin. So it was cool. Armageddon was a cool game. It had cool mini games. Um, and I, I miss those games to be honest with you. If they if they took out some of the broken stuff in them, the 3D Mortal Kombat games are by far and large better than the 2D ones, I think. Next, next in this, we're gonna have MKX. So I've put MKX at the top, or well, so ahead of Armageddon, basically, um, because MKX, right? I have, I gave MKX a lot of stick. I gave MKX a lot of stick when it came out, but like I've played it a bit more recently. It is the thing with MKX is that competitively, I don't think it's a good game because it's so insane and so unbelievably oppressive that it's it's it is frustrating, but. But it is more, on a casual level, it's more fun. There's just more to do. MK11 is very boring. Like, it's it's more fair. MK11 is more fair, so I, I would more more than likely on a competitive circuit play MK11. But MKX is more fun. They haven't quite reached the middle ground of fun and creative. But I put MKX up there just because I, I played the hell out of it. I played the hell out of it. I got I got to number one ranked in the world. That's how much I played that game. And yeah, it's not it's not a bad game. It's just it's hella oppressive. No no defensive mechanics. And then MK11 is so boring with tons of defensive mechanics. So it's in the middle, I suppose. And they're still trying to find their feet. And now we go into S tier. My two S tier games. Can you guess? You probably can guess which one's going to be number one, but. Number two is going to be Mortal Kombat Deception. Deception, uh, in, in, in terms of story mode, has the best story mode of a Mortal Kombat game, bar none. But MK Deception is absolutely fantastic in terms of a story mode, crypt, mini games. Also, in terms of combat, I feel like this one, other than Deadly Alliance, was the best attempt that NRS ever had at a competitive fighting game. It's a bit more broken than, than uh, Deadly Alliance, but I absolutely love Deception. If you've never played it, please play the story mode. It is so much fun. So much fun. And it has a great roster as well. It's a, it's a really good game, some really good stages, some really good music. But that brings us to number one. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance is my all-time favourite Mortal Kombat game. Nothing for me has come close to this. I have had so much fun on this game. This game features three variations, all can be used in one fight. Some of the best stages and the best music in MK. Story mode is a bit lame, um, but it's got a crypt. I mean, in terms of a fighting game, MK Deadly Alliance sits up there as some as one of the greatest fighting games for me. And it's my personal favorite. I can still play it for hours on end. If I've got a buddy to play it with, it's so much fun. But that's my tier list for all the Mortal Kombat games that have been out from the numerical order. Um, let me know what you think, let me know what your favourites are, and uh, hopefully we can discuss in the comments section. And that is my niece crying in the back, so I'm gonna end this video now before you guys have blood come out of your ears, basically. Guys, I'll catch you next time. Take care, stay safe, peace.